Hi and welcome back to our open stop motion film project. I am sorry I have been sick in the whole month nearly or more. I'm actually still I have pneumonia and all kind of. Uh, I have grandchildren, so they take all kind of uh, virus and whatnot with them home. So. Uh, but uh, we are over running again, so I hope so. If I mute some, uh, I mute sometimes, then it's because uh, I'm coughing like crazy. So, but I uh, hope I have warm tea and I have warm coffee, so maybe that can prevent all the coughing. So, but let us start. Last time, the last episode, we have um, we was uh, trying to figure out how to you know we have we have to make uh, uh, leaves on the uh, on the trees. As you can see, we have summer trees and we have uh, fall trees, and then we need to have some winter trees, but. Uh, as you know, uh, uh, when it's uh, when there are leaves on the trees, then the the wire are kind of hidden, so that's fine. But when we have winter trees with no leaves on, then the wires are not hidden, and then if we make any kind of close up, we have a problem because you can see how they are made and so on. So. We need kind of a way to hide that, and uh, today I have tried with uh, with uh, uh, this modern clay. I have heated that up in the oven, and then dipped this one in it, but it don't work really. And the problem is that you can see if I do it with a single wire now, I will try to. Put that I don't know if you can see if it will focus on this one. Please focus. Uh, but uh, then you ha have to dip it like this and then up again. But it, a straight wire, and then you can do it uh, like this. Uh, but the problem is that when I dip it. When they are all curled up like like this, then it will not um, uh, float like I want it to. So I really don't know, and I cannot I cannot do it in this state or uh, the single thread state because when I a single thread like this, I then I cannot uh, 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 what the name for that. I cannot uh, uh, bend the wire without uh, destroying the uh, the form of the clay. So uh, so I really don't know how to, and I need to figure out how because I can of course do it by hand on one at the time but my god that will take uh, months to do with all of those so I need to find a better solution for that but that the one part by uh, when you are making stop motion like this is you have to figure out how to do stuff but uh, sometimes it's a little more difficult than others so so I really not I'm sure how to to do it Because as 
even if I dip it like this, then the uh, it's uh, dry up like uh, small pearls on it, it's, uh, small uh, drops on it. It's not. Uh, it's not usable. I have taken them off here, but you can actually see one here with my finger. It's it kind of lump lumps up when it's but it gets nice uh, fluid when I heat it up to seventy five degrees Celsius or something like that, but. Uh, it's not and now I will try and I have last time we tried with uh, with some very thick pen, uh, paint but that didn't work either it's kind of not that and it's very time consuming too to paint uh, you have to do it a lot of times so but now the next try will be with some glue to see how that behave because the glue I can do uh, uh, that gets uh, when it's dry I can uh, handle it afterwards without destroying what I have done so let's see how we can do that I don't know but I need to find a solution whatever there's no ways around it so You know when you do something like this then if there's something you can't figure out you keep on thinking how can I do that so you don't get any rest before you have figured it out so even then I don't have to make winter trees right now but it pains me when when I don't have any idea how how to You can make kind of a, a dipping machine like like they do when they make candles if if it works. But see now again it starts to pearl up uh, how do I 
can you see small droplets on it that's not the goal of it You know, you can hang a many of these from something that dips and then go up again and dribble off and then go down again when it's dry, I guess. Sorry. We wouldn't have any problem with if it was a uh, yarn or something, but it's because it's iron thread. And maybe when we have dipped it in, in glue first and then wax afterwards, maybe that will work. But one would think that glue has the, the most viscosity, or what, what it called.
And if you don't do anything, then it will dry up like this. It has something to do with the As soon as I will tip them and then leave them alone, then they will have this, those tips on them. It don't dry fast enough. Hey. and no solution. Okay. I guarantee you it will do the same thing on the stick here. side if it's a thread that's the problem or the groove that's the problem
it actually flows even down here it looks like This is wood and there is something to hold. I cannot make them in wood. But the wax I did that was kind of good good enough. It didn't do that with a single thread in the in the model clay. just like I wanted This was hot and this was cold and then it did like this. to take something to heat it with <coughs> just a little <coughs> and see if that changed anything If the thread is warm, then the, uh, the glue should uh, dry quicker. But, uh, we don't need it then. Ah. That's help anything. What 
the problem now is we cannot heat it. If this works, we cannot heat it a second time. Then we burn off the glue. But this time it don't do like before. It behaves nice. See? It nice even layer all over it. Until now, I have to say. Don't sell the bird before you shut the bear. the wood stick then if this work then the reason the wood stick work was that it sucks some of the moisture moisture out of the glue it's a weight water based glue so sit here and hold her head in there. start to get some bald spots Maybe I have to make a, a, a mold, so, but then I have to make them very precise. Oh, I can 
see this is starting to go bad too because it's so slow to dry. You can see the I will get a piece of black cotton so you can see what I am doing. <laughs> White on white is very difficult. is the only way I cannot see anything else make a mold make one good one in hand and then make a, make a mold of that and then make them in silicone make one at a time that's not possible I will never get finished because with the, with the mold I just have to fill the mold up and then let it dry and then and I can make more than one. So I have to model one. Thank you. 
put this bed back in the can. I don't think there are other possibilities in really good one by hand and then this we will throw away too goodbye I need to try this on the floor get stuck it's an indoor gloom so water will take it <coughs> oops was that the camera Yes, it was. Sorry. <coughs> That's what happened. I think we need to make one good one and then make a mold of that and then make a cast of each one of them I cannot figure it out any other way Just dip them, that was a good idea, I thought. But, uh, it was at least the simplest and the easiest. I get it. I have another problem because then in all cases I need to have thread in them and uh, and then they have to be exact similar every one of them <laughs> stop on the easy is it
sorry. Maybe I... <coughs> Maybe I should make it in a couple of threads so I don't have these uh, thick uh, where I have spun the thread around like there you can see there then I could couple straight then I could solder it together really nice but out I have never been so sick in one month, in a whole month. I'm crazy.
but since I have got grandchildren, then I think you know, I think it happens more and more often. So next time they come, I will, them, I will dip them in formaldehyde before they get in the door. Come. But I kid you not, before before grandchildren, I was maybe sick uh, two days uh, not even every year, but every second year or something like that. Couple of years apart. But that's not that way anymore. They get it for from the other kids they are all kind of contaminating each other. But they get old very quick. that is when it's so thin uh, very hard to to do It's good to put it in the uh, uh, refrigerator a little bit in the fridge. Half an hour, then it's cold again. Someone are whistling after me.
The problem is always when it's naked like this, then you make close ups, you can see everything. Tip the field helps a lot, but you cannot. Sometimes you have to get close, and then you have a problem. <laughs> yes. My grandson have a Chromebook and he have lost his his uh, power supply or his uh, Charger, that's what it is. He can find it and then they think it's here. But it isn't. But it's a little problem because he used it in the school. It's a shame that the three D printer are not good enough to to move stuff like this, but it is. It's much too thin. At least those small ones we have. I guess a big expensive one can do it, but we don't have one of those.
modeling it's fenced up like this This is not what I have envisioned. thought I could dip it in something and then that was okay. But I will carry on with that and uh, I hope we will see you again tomorrow and uh, see what we can come up with then but uh, this was no success that was bad but uh, sometimes it's like that so I will say thank you for watching and then see you again tomorrow.